I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. You made it! I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true? Akio! I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Revelio! Rebellion. Lumos. 
Revelio. Revelio. Foipers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. And so are whoopers. I wonder if it's being protected. Revelio. Accio. Surprised. Rebellion. First the Foopers and now this. We need to find mods for those spinners. Akio. Perhaps the runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. I 
Rebellio. Rebellion. we 
Revelio. Lumos. 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 It's Lumos. beautiful. Lumos. You did it. Lumos. Revelio. I was hoping we wouldn't have Accio. Confrigo.
Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. Even more Revelio. close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Given what whoopers are known to do, Rebellion. I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. <laughs> Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers are assuming this is where the moonstone is. Which means we are one step ahead of them. Revelio. Directly at the moon. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your Gran doing, by the way? Nothing keeps Gran down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. We can safely say we know where the Moonstone goes. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. 
Though I suppose the Moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one, but two Moongarve dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on High Wing, or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met High Wing, actually, I... If you don't want to talk about it, we don't have to. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted Mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin? I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just... barely. I think the pattern's a... bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course! That's it! We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are.
Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. Sebastian has gone too far. You saw what lies in the catacomb. I cannot stay here. Wait, Anne, please. Ominous. He was willing to put the whole hamlet and himself in danger on the chance that some old relic could help to heal me. I'm sorry, Ominous. Make sure he's all right, will you? I'm glad you're here. I received your owl. Where's Sebastian? Inside the catacomb. Frankly, I was surprised you weren't with him. Ominous, I... Stop. You swore you wouldn't let Sebastian take this one step further. Yet here we are. He won't listen to reason. I should have stopped him before. Sebastian's in real trouble now. I'm going back into the catacomb to find him. Anne's right. He and the entire hamlet are in danger. The place is crawling with Inferi. Inferi? What are you talking about? You'll see. We need to hurry. Sebastian must not be in his right mind. Last time we were here, this place was crawling with spiders. We're about to face worse. Let's find Sebastian quickly. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Where was Sebastian when you and Anne found him? Just ahead, in the great room. Confringo! Confringo! Rebellion! There weren't this many in theory before. And there's no sign of Sebastian. I was so worried about Sebastian, I didn't even realize. Anne's gone to get Solomon. When she first saw the Inferi, she thought Sebastian was being attacked. But then he showed her the relic and said he'd learned how to use it. The carvings on the relic were Inferi, and Sebastian somehow created them. Not exactly. He's controlling them. This is powerful dark magic. Creating Inferi is incredibly difficult, but controlling them as Anne and I frantically barricaded the Inferi to keep them from escaping, Sebastian kept mumbling about healing Anne. 
When Anne said she couldn't stay here, I didn't realize what she meant. Solomon threatened to go to the headmaster if he heard of Sebastian dealing with dark magic. I need to get to Hogwarts. I must get to Professor Black first. Twist the story a bit, make him think it's a family fight. I'll be back as soon as I can. See if you can talk some sense into Sebastian. Be careful. Rebellion. 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 How many inferior? Can bring up. Incendium. Bombarder. Rebellion. There's Sebastian. Isn't this incredible? Sebastian, I told you, the relic is the answer. I've been trying to reverse the dark magic that injured Anne, but this will allow me to control it. Just as I can control the Inferi. Control? I had to fight the Inferi all the way. Uh. We're busted. What have the two of you done? Accio Relic! Solomon, go! The Relic! You'll pay for this! Where'd he go? There he is. 
Gonzalo. Stop! What? Oh, now you're doing this stuff. Okay. Adjust some stuff here. Let's do this one. Really don't wanna.
जो चॉइस एन वॉट हैव यू डन I think he kills uncle. I must get out of here. I can't let him leave. Revelio. Was brown for him. Sebastian, wait. What is it? We are, you, what, are we not going to talk about what happened? Why wouldn't you stop? I was calling after you. Anne won't survive this. She's withering away, inside and out. Solomon's never been there for us. Not really. He gave up on Anne. I'll never give up on her. You saw him, didn't you? He was going to ruin her life. He attacked us. I. I had to use the killing curse. You know I did. If I hadn't known how to cast it, you went too far, Sebastian. I, I can't think right now. I need to leave. I can't stay here. I need to find Ominous. Sebastian, please. I'm not myself right now. Let's meet later at the Undercroft. All right? So I was not expecting him to kill him. Could it be a Merlin trial? Alright, so we gotta find some. Rebellion. I thought it was the Confringo. Oh, too far away. Rebellion. Where's the other one? There's one. That's the one over there. I did. I died. Confringo. Won't get the best of me. Oh, how many of those I got left? Surely not many. Thank you. Okay. Let's check out our quest. So 
looks like all we got is trial. Let's go do it. This may or may not be a long video. Let's tie it in with the... Uh, kept freezing on me. Turned around in the school if I don't. Lesson, we will cover a truly thrilling event. The Goblin Rebellion of 1752 and all its triumphant tragedy. Hmm. But more specifically, uh, we will address the devastating effects it had on the wizard milling industry. <laughs> Actually... We do know the number. 632. But history occurs outside the classroom. And look, it's time for my constitutional. One can practically osmose the history flowing through Hogwarts. I think the professor wants us to follow him. And now for a stroll to the bell tower. Along with the rest of the castle, it was completed in the late early Middle Ages. The hall and the bell towers that loom above it contain myriad interesting artifacts. Good to see you again. Recovered from that nasty bout of dragon pox, have we? I, uh, that wasn't me, Professor. I'm new here. Are you? Well, and, uh, welcome. No doubt you're eagerly anticipating my analysis of various wizarding councils, codes, statutes, and, of course, goblin rebellion. Not all goblins are rebellious. Some venture into wizarding politics, such as Irgit the Ugly. Some are talented artisans, such as Bragbor the Boastful. Did you say Bragbor? I know that name. Lord Cox said he was an ancestor of Ranrock. Hmm. Well known for his metalwork. 
I would imagine much of his goblin wrought iron and silver has survived to this very day. Well, where were we? Oh, oh yes. <clears throat> Back to our class topic for today. Grimbald Weft. Another notable historical figure. Uh, he's right Good lord. Nearby. No wonder he was asleep. <laughs> Rebellion. No, that's not cool. Tower and tour. I recommend that all students introduce themselves to this hero of Hogwarts. Can you tell me I where need... I might find Grimbald Weft? Oh yes, Grimbald Weft. Quick with a needle and thread, that one. He's a fascinating artifact of the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. At any rate, he can be found nearby, perched in his case. Hmm. You never strays from the bell tower. Since you screamed with what this day does. Rebellion. No. Found Grimbold Weft. Yes, I rather enjoyed seeking him out. The thrill of the scholarly pursuit. I know the feeling quite well. Now, let's turn our attention to the agreeability and general good nature of Sir Aff Buttle. He's oh. also nearby. Okay. See what you can learn from him for your next assignment. Standing in eternal but symbolic watch over the bell tower is a retinue of loyal knights, or rather, Rebellion. Sir Skaggledog the Heedless once challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Cheerful countenance nestled among the ranks. Sir Afpuddle was the friendly. Sir Afpuddle. I already got that. Nor by slaying bloodthirsty dragons. Oh. Hi. Waving night. Okay. Oh, belong to Sir F. Puddle. Thank you. I encourage everyone to make the waving Don't statues of Queen. Revelio. Hogwarts is impervious. Professor Binns, I found the statue of Sir Afpuddle. Ah, well done. <coughs> Alas, Sir Afpuddle's affability was his undoing. <laughs> Died instantly trying to befriend a basilisk. Eye contact is not always to be encouraged. So beloved was he that even some goblins mourned his passing. Of course, that did not bode well with the rest of the goblins, most of whom could not abide mourning the loss of a wizard. Pity goblins and wizards can't get along. True. But imagine how dull my lectures would be without goblin rebellions to discuss. Mm, history does tend to repeat. It is a series of patterns, a thought both comforting and disconcerting. The wise student, such as yourself, will learn from it. We're down here. History is written by those who do their schoolwork, so they say. Or at least, I like to say that. I'm 100% positive. <laughs> That's what I was doing in the first damn place. This old one and another one of Binz's wild goose chases. Uh, I'm not gonna try it. How can we do that? 
so much and accomplished so little. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. This unassuming smudge is rumored to be the location of the very first successful use of Bombarda. Yeah, that's great. What the hell is this thing? Well, I was trying to get that shield thing, but well, obviously we know we need to go down. But I forget where to go to get there. Oh yeah, I got all kinds of chests in here. They were all locked. Seriously. So I know for future reference. Hmm. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the ally received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragpool's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. <laughs> Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't say. I didn't read the journals. I fear you are correct. The situation is far from ideal, but we can wait no longer. I will defer to Professor Rockham as to how to proceed. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Dad, beast master over here. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? 
nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Let's, uh... Let's just do this. Thank you, me. So I'll fly in there. And poof. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the keepers for information. Rebellion. This place could do with a bit of confrey. Let's look around. Got it. Is that a it is. I believe I know what must be done. Okay. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? That's a head. I can't say what I do. Oh, it appears to be a fearsome beast known as a graphorn. And the grap prints horn. carved into the ground lead me to believe that a graphorn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. What have you ever subdued a graphorn, Professor? I have, yes. Years ago, at Stonehenge, of all places. The Ministry still owes me for that favour. It can be difficult, of course. They are massive, after all. But it's not impossible. It's my experience that many of your spells will have no real effect. You'll uh -huh. need to wear him down. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. I can't fly. Why so far away? Come on, get this dumbass to chase me all the way over there. I think I can swim. I should investigate. Search for the Lord of the Shore. Oh 
Don't mind me. I wasn't here. I've had enough of Bellcroft. <laughs> This must be the place. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. So, Mr. Grabhorn. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself. Uh. Hi. Ah! Oh no! Oh shit! Incendio, 
Say we pick up the pace a bit. Slow down now. There we go. What? Why did you tell me to pick up the pace? Poachers. Let's see how the Lord for sure feels about his neighborhood being invaded. Take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. 
Like it or not. No need to race now, my friend. Time for you all to clear out. Oh, y'all. Bang him. Quicker. Faster. Every time Here he says faster, this damn thing stops running. Professor Rakham was right to have had faith in you. My memories should answer any questions you may have about the power you will need to protect. Thank you, Professor Bakar. I shall see you back in the map chamber. Revelio! No treasures. Hello? Isadora? Isadora? I'm glad you're here. Isadora was not at her home. I know. Her father. First of all. What is it? It is as though he was stripped not only of his pain, but of all emotion. Everything is much worse than I feared. Neve was right. Isadora hasn't stopped. 
I've just learned that she has been wielding that magic on students. We must gather the others. Longer. Not my father, not my students, no one. Isadora, set down your wand. Professor, you taught me to hone my power, not throw it away. I did not teach you this. Expelliarmus! <laughs> The caverns below Hogwarts, where you fought Isadora. Is that the location of the final repository? It is. You see, we could not destroy the strands of emotion Isadora had stolen from so many. So we did all that we could to keep them safe. We also realized that until they could be destroyed, the magic used to create them was a danger to wizard kind. Hence, we became keepers. Keepers of an unfathomable secret. We knew that someday, one with the ability to see traces of ancient magic might be seduced by its power. We built the trials to lead that person to us. To allow them to prove themselves worthy of the knowledge we'd kept hidden and the responsibility that accompanies it. Have I not proven myself, Professor? I need to get to that repository before Ranrock does. You have, and you will. But the repository is protected by powerful ancient magic. To enter, you must craft a special wand from the four artifacts you found above our pensives. So the repository is safe from Ranrock for now. If he is, as you suspect, capable of using the power of the other repository, I fear he will be able to breach our defenses. Then I must go now and craft this wand. 
Perhaps Mr. Ollivander will help me. Another Ollivander? I'm not surprised. As I am sure he will tell you, this wand may be used for only one purpose. Return with the wand, and we will open the way forward. I shall send an owl ahead to Ollivander. Whilst you visit him, I'll reach out to Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley? Yes. I may have made an error in judgment by not informing her of Ranrock's intentions earlier. I only hope it's not too late. If Ranrock really is going to try to drill below Hogwarts, we'll need all the help we can get. All right, Professor. I'll see you soon. <coughs> okay, friends. And with that, we're going to call this one done. I will continue this one later. Catch you all in the next one. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace.